If during this procedure you should happen to get toner on your skin or clothing, be sure you don't use warm water or cleaning solvents to remove the toner. This will only set the toner and make it more difficult to remove. If any toner should get on your skin or clothing, just brush it off, then if necessary, wash it off with cold water and mild soap. We've placed a few sheets of paper on the floor just in case we have any toner spills and you may want to do the same thing. So first we're going to make sure the machine has stopped and then we're going to open the front door. Now remove the cleaning rod and discard it. Now pull down on the colored tabs on the right and left side of the machine to open cover B. Grab the center part of the waste toner container and pull it out until it stops. Put the used container in the bag provided, then seal the bag and discard it. Now let's clean the laser windows. First, gently insert the cleaning rod into slot D1, kind of a rectangular hole with the pad facing down. Run the cleaning rod back and forth a few times to clean the laser window. You may not see any dirt on the cleaning pad, but that's okay. The dirt's really fine, it's almost impossible to see. Once you get done with that, Go ahead and do the same thing for the other three slots, D2, D3, and D4. Now, go ahead and store the cleaning rod inside the front door. And now let's put that new waste toner container into the machine. Set the waste toner container on the B cover and slide it in. Close the B cover by holding the colored tabs on the left and right and pushing up. Now close the front door and you're done.